Valley Talk on News Talk 1580 KGAL. Hey, uh, good uh, good morning. This is Dave Adams, and this is the Valley Talk Time segment, and it's the second Thursday of the month, and that means it is time for Skin Talk. And our good friends from Silver Falls Dermatology are here, as always, in the studio. Glad to have uh, them with us today. We have Dr. John Young, Brandon Marcus, and you know what? I'm really, really happy to have Cajun Joe. Hey, Joe. Yeah, somebody told me my fan missed me. What's that? Someone said my fan missed me. Your fan? Yeah, I have one. one. Fan. You have more than one. I met them the other day at the store. Oh, okay. They said, where's Cajun Joe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Charlie Eads is one of those. He's you know? still waiting That's for the my stalker. Fan. That's yeah. your fan? Yeah. Charlie's your Charlie. fan? The boss. The boss. Okay, <laughs> Charlie, Cajun Joe's in the studio today. We're going to have some fun. So, you guys have a good holiday? Great, great. Really good to be good. back. It's uh, New Year, winter time, and one of the things we want to talk about is the winter itch and eczema. You know, I guess you keep all the skin covered up and keep it out of the sun, and you get sometimes you get a winter itch or eczema. And uh, Dr. Brandon Marcus uh, wants to share some information with us about that today. Yeah, so, I mean, we live here in Oregon, so it's not, uh, you, you know, one of the dry, arid climates, so it's not a place you typically think of people having dry skin, but with weather changes, especially in the winter, um, that, you know, the cold air helps pull some of the moisture out of the skin, so it makes us more prone, especially as we age, to, to getting dry skin. So a lot of people will notice, you know, as the days cool down, especially how we've been these past few weeks, that your skin really dries out, and it primarily affects the, you know, the, the, the shins and the ankles and the lower extremities in, in that region. One of the things I've noticed about winters here in Oregon, specifically on the eastern side of the state, is lips and hands. Uh, my hands, I do a lot of uh, some engineering work for some stations, and my hands will just get so chapped they bleed because it's cold and it's dry, and, and if I don't carry around Vaseline intensive care or something for the hands, they really get, um, it hurts. Yeah, yeah, they definitely, I mean, the hands are uh, uh, one of the prime examples of something that'll kind of flare up in the winter. And the, the problem is, is once the skin dries out, it kind of breaks it down into cracks, and then it gets irritated as well, so it's kind of a vicious cycle. It kind of feeds on itself, so that's definitely something to come in for, because we do have a, a few therapies and modalities that we can use to kind of help alleviate that. And, and another thing is, you know, the, the skin's our protective barrier of the body. You break that down, it just makes you more prone to infections and, and, and other problems down the road. So tips for us to get through the winter holiday and not have quite so much itch. Dr. John Young, you want to add to the conversation? Yeah, it's kind of amazing that we don't rash out more on our hands than we really do. When you think about it, our hands are at the forefront of how we interact with our environment, and so they're always touching all kinds of chemicals, substances, or compounds. Even doorknobs have a lot of nickel in them, and some people get sensitive to that. Toilet paper has formaldehyde in it. I mean, it goes on and on and on, and then there's a lot of hand washing that happens. So you combine normal life uh, with your hands like that with a little winter cold and dryness and hand dermatitis or hand uh, dryness and rashes can really be a bother. Um, it can also impact the way you, you feel things. So people that are typists or work with their hands and so it can um, cause them a lot of problems and trouble feeling and getting that nerve feedback on exactly how to manipulate things finely with their fingers. Um, the other interesting thing is that uh, dry hands actually can screw with your fingerprints and so it can make your fingerprints harder to read so you know with technology moving ahead and more um, uh, keys and uh, different types of things you've seen in all the sci-fi movies where you can put your finger on the scanner and unlock something but even with just getting your fingerprints scanned it can uh, negatively impact that so you can't get a good read sometimes on a fingerprint so just kind of an interesting weird thing that people uh, might not think about that might cause more problems as technology advances and fingerprint uh, devices become more common. Interesting. What about over-the-counter ointments? Something to avoid or...? Yeah, so in, in general, the less smelly things are, the more we like them because all those different scents and smells and colors you know, are products and chemicals. And so some people will be sensitized to that, especially if your skin barrier is broken down. So we tend to like plain lotions or creams 
or even Vaseline ointment is really nice to use. Um, but again, it's, it's kind of a battle because if you work with your hands, you don't want a big gooey finger of Vaseline touching your keyboard and gunking that up. So, Or your smartphone screen. That's right. That's right. I have a quick question. Uh, you said around the ankles and the shins. Why is that more prevalent than other areas? Is it has something to do with circulation? You know, we, we do tend to see things down lower getting worse with aging and with circulation. So um, we, we definitely see that. And uh, that's that a, it's a great the question. I have on my ankles. Yeah, and it tends to get worse. So uh, there's nothing worse if people have ever had this than an ankle or foot that's itchy. You know, it'll drive you nuts, and people tend to take the other foot and scratch on it during the day by lifting the other foot up and heel up and scratching it. And, um, and these areas tend to be drier and more susceptible to eczema. And we often see eczema starting down there. So someone in their 50s might get the itch and a little bit of dryness and rash down there. And then 10 years further uh, down the road, it spreads. And so we'll often see a lot of eczema kind of parking down there and then spreading across the body. And there are different patterns of this. Some of the patterns are like you put little coins on the body. And we call that numular eczema. And numular is derived from a Latin word meaning coin. So it's little round patches of eczema that can appear all up the legs and uh, on the trunk and they don't often look as bad as they feel they itch like the devil i mean just drive you crazy type of itch and you know that's a time when people usually come in and see us uh, because you know pain is one thing but if you have a constant itch uh, that'll drive you crazy and often drive a loved one crazy if you're up in the middle of the night scratching and waking people up um, it'll interfere with your sleep their sleep and it's a big quality of life thing so you know people will usually come and see us when it's a little bit too much um, or we'll often get the by the way they come in for a mole check and by the way i've got this rash or i've got this itch and we can often help them you know besides recommending over-the-counter things we can go with some prescription creams ointments sprays now there are even foams like if people know what mousse is that they put in their scalp some of the newer treatments are foam based so uh, a lot of guys don't like to put a lot of greasy things all over their skin so they can apply a foam or a solution or a spray which is a lot more you know acceptable and easier to incorporate into a guy's regimen who wants to just put something on that doesn't grease him up uh, women tend to be more used to moisturizing and doing better uh, care for their faces so it's often easier to talk them into some moisturizing than the guys but you know from personal experience it, it's pretty easy to control uh, the eczema i have uh, dr young gave me a prescription with some cream and if i use it regularly it's fine but you know how guys though we don't use it that regularly when it, flares, when it flares up, yeah. I'll put it on for a day or two, and then it's working really well. Then the next time it flares up, do it again. With uh, Probably if I did it on a regular basis, like I'm told, it would probably pretty much go away. It's, it's not only common for people to relay this, but it's also common for patients like Cage and Joe to lie about how often they use it when it gets <laughs> bad. They often overestimate the amount of times they use it when they're really not, so... Well, I'll say once or twice when he gets really bad. So for his stalker out there, you may notice he's not really applying it as regularly as he should. <laughs> Vaseline, is there something you mentioned that you don't like the smelly creams or the uh, creams with lots of color and lots of scents in them? Just the regular Vaseline, is it just just the covering or is there something in the ointment itself that, that actually absorbs into the skin or is it just an additional layer of protection? Well, that's a that's a great question you know dr young mentioned i just had a patient yesterday who uh came in she'd seen me about a month ago for a spot on her face and while we were talking she mentioned that you know her feet and ankles get really dry and it's been a problem for the last 30 years and so she's tried all sorts of uh, lotions even bought some expensive lotions on tv and basically wasted a lot of money with no relief um, and when you look at moisturizing, I mean, you can break it down into three basic categories. You have your lotions, your creams, and your emollients. And a lot of people, you know, don't know about this. Lotions are pretty much anything you can pump out of a bottle. If you can pump it out of a bottle, it's probably too thin if it's not, you know, moisturizing properly. And it doesn't matter how expensive of a lotion you buy or how much money you spend. A lot of times they're just wasting their money. So I recommended a few creams for her. And she had put them on over this last month. And yesterday when she came in for a recheck on that spot on her face, she had, you know, just let me know how happy she was. For 30 years, she'd been going through this. One month, it was fixed. And so she was pretty happy about that because we had prescribed a cream that worked a lot better for her.
Mm-hmm. And, you know, you mentioned about Vaseline. Vaseline is what we call an emollient. And, you know, it does work best for moisturizing. It's a lot thicker. The problem is, is it's really greasy. So a lot of people don't like that greasy feel, especially on their hands, on their skin. But... I mean, guys, guys, especially. I, I don't like greasy. Right. I it gets all over everything. Exactly. So you know, we do use emollients, and sometimes we'll have people put it on at night. And for example, for the hands, you know, you can put it on your hands by a, a cheap pair of cotton gloves at the dollar store. Put that on so it's not getting over your sheets, and then kind of take it off in the morning, and then apply your other moisturizers. So that's a kind of a helpful hint for the. So if I have no several there. parts of my body, I can wear a cheap suit. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Might slide around a little bit, but so interesting. What about covering? Um, one of the questions I wanted to ask you: You mentioned that typically, as we get older, lower parts of the body, the ankles, the feet, have more eczema. One of the things that that ha- happens as we get older is um, we tend to fight gravity a lot, and I'm wondering whether it's just the blood flow pooling and the the uh, water level pulling down to the lower parts of the body, lower extremities, just because of the, the gravity. I noticed, you know, a lot of, um, if you look, for example, at the ankles of a lot of older people, when you're just in line at the grocery store, you see a lot of swollen ankles and a lot of skin conditions, especially on the ankles. So, number one, does gravity have a problem in that, and it, it just pooling everything down low, and is that... Well, I think you're, you're kind of talking about circulation in general, you know, so um, as we age uh, in general, you know, things don't work the same as they used to, and right. the plumbing gets a little old, and the more swelling you get down lower, uh, like when you're talking about gravity, it would just be a matter of the blood not you know, getting down there and getting back out. And so blood not only has the red blood cells and it also has clear fluid in it that leaks out into the tissues and that's what drains into your lymph nodes. And so you could think of the clear fluid as uh, kind of bathing and washing all the toxins out of your cells and then it's returned back into your body. But as we age, uh, and sometimes what we'll find is their underlying conditions uh, down in the legs that can be related to the circulation that kind of block these little blood vessels or lymphatic vessels that return that fluid up. And so you get swelling from that and then things don't move and circulate properly and it does tend to have more uh, rash associated with it. But then there also might be this underlying condition that I'm talking about that, um, that is causing the whole process in the first place. So it's another good reason if you have some kind of uh, swelling problem, not only to have your regular doctor check out your circulation, but we can often catch things that even the regular doctors haven't heard of or the patients may be unaware of that we can treat in a better uh, way, a more unique way than just a cream uh, to help their problem. Does covering it up with clothing make it worse, better? For, for example, let's talk about the ankles. We, uh, most people wear socks. I notice a lot of people here in the Mid-Willamette Valley are still wearing sandals here in the winter, but a lot of us just want to keep our feet warm and cover it up with socks, where in the summertime, we generally have them more open to the air. Does that exacerbate the situation? Uh, talking about wintertime itch eczema? Uh, I don't think so. I think it's a, it, it more has to do with the air in general. I mean, you know, when you lower the temperature in the air, it decreases the amount of moisture in the air, the humidity. Um, I know a lot of places that are in humid environments, you know, if they're trying to protect, like in libraries or books, they lower the temperature for that reason. And I think it's more, it more has to do with the dry air. Um, You know, just putting socks on over your feet isn't magically going to make your eczema go away. Or 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 make make it worse. Yeah. I I wear socks 24-7, and it doesn't help. Doesn't help, doesn't hurt. It's not the same pair, by the way. I know someone was going to ask that question. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> we leave that. Uh, yeah, we leave that to you, Doctor Doctor Young. I I was asked going to think that, but but you know, getting back to your Vaseline question, sure. um, you know, we we in general think that we want to avoid all the smelly uh, products that smell pretty and cost a lot of money. We can usually fix it with less expensive and less frou frouy products. Um, but even Vaseline, which we think of as pretty inert, some people can develop allergies too. So. Uh, you know, it's something that we just keep in mind. It's not common, but it's something we might think of. But in general, it's a pretty safe bet for most of the population to use a little bit of that. Can the average person develop 
an overexposure to a product, let's say that they've got a, a skin cream that they really like and they just lather up on it all the time, can your skin develop a reaction to it just because of overexposure to it? Uh, great question. So you can develop an allergy to anything topically, like any type of topical cream or ointment, even if you've used it for 50 years. So one day your body can just decide, you know, I don't like this, uh, I'm going to react against it, you can get a rash from it. Uh, the other thing we think of is that broken down skin. So if you have like a lot of fissures and tears in the skin or sores, it kind of opens up the skin to be more um, apt to get allergic to it. And we, we tend to find this commonly with eardrops. So people that scratch and pick their ears because they get dry and really itchy in the winter might put some uh, like antibiotic drops in the ears, which is really common. It's commonly given out by the ear, nose, and throat guys. Um, but we'll often find that people will develop an allergy to those drops and it can drive them even crazier. And if anyone's had an itchy ear, they know that that'll just drive you nuts. And they actually make some special prescription eardrops for itchy ears that don't have those kind of things in them. And we, we actually write for that quite a bit. It's usually not too expensive, but it's uh, much better than, you know, you can think about sticking that dirty fingernail up and scratching the skin in the ear. Um, you know, you're, you're, you've got a lot of bacteria in that fingernail and it's not good. And uh, ear infections are some of the worst when you get them with a cold, but when you get an ear infection in the ear canal on the outside of the ear, it usually hurts even worse. So it's extremely painful. So. so it's possible to have somebody use an emollient or some kind of skin cream, and they might be used it for 25, 30 years, and then all of a sudden one day yeah. they start developing a reaction to it, and the patient might think, well, how could that happen because I've been right. using it for 30 years? Now, the other weird spin to that is that just because you buy the same face cream from the same manufacturer every year, they can change the ingredients in it without putting it on the bottle, and you would never know it. So um, the are, FDA... Are they required by law to... No, that's a good... The FDA regulates drugs, but they don't regulate over-the-counter products in the same way, and so they're not even legally required to put that they've changed anything or that they've even added something new, and they're not even legally required to put all the things that are in the product on the bottle. So this is a tricky thing for us because we do testing to see if people are allergic to these products, and and we can only get people so far because we can say, you want to look at the bottle and make sure it doesn't have uh, this chemical, for instance, terp-butylphenol. There are all these crazy chemicals that we can test people to that are in everyday products. And you can look for it, and some of the manufacturers will put it on the label and some won't. And so it's often a real battle. And then, uh, so you might not be getting the same product even though you think it looks, smells, and feels the same way year to year. So you have a uh, patient that comes in and is using a skin cream and all of a sudden they're developing reaction to it. Do you just have them bring the bottle in and you test that? Yeah, or you know, so there, there are different ways to approach that. Um, you know, usually if it's a bad reaction, we just take everything off the table and just maybe treat the rash with a medicine and then have them add the products that they were using slowly back. And there's another way to test to see if you're allergic to a product. So let's say a person has a nighttime regimen where they put three different creams on the face. We, we would take them all off and add them back one by one, but we might have them start putting it in the crease of their arm, like where they draw your blood from, because that's a real sensitive part of the body. And if you put the cream there for a few nights, if it irritates that area, then you know it's probably going to irritate the face. So we might have them reintroduce the product as a little test spot. Uh, on the arm, and we call that a use, like USE, a use test, mm -hmm. to see if they are able to use it without reacting to it. Do you have ever a situation where, let's, it's a good example of a person using three different kinds of lotion at night. Do you ever have a situation where when they use them one at a time, it's okay, but a combination of the two can create a problem, or not? You know, usually not, uh, but what you're referring to might be a chemical interaction. And most of the chemical interactions that we see with products might inactivate one of the chemicals and so make it work less effectively. But, um, but we don't see a lot of uh, chemical reactions in over-the-counter products, uh, although conceivably it could happen, but I'm not aware of any of you, Dr. Marcus. No, no, not typically with creams yeah, so like you're mentioning. If you haven't had any of these problems, you can reach us at... Uh, Silver Falls Dermatology, and the local number is 541-967-8385. 541-967-8385, and we have a toll-free number also, 866-599-DERM, D-E-R-M.
any website? Six five nine nine Durham. And what's your website? This is www.silverfallsderm.net. And we have a lot of uh, new things on the website. We have a lot of uh, things on the new treatment we do, that old therapy, which is that ultrasound face lift. And there's a new uh, FDA approval with that, too, that we'll probably want to tell everyone about, that we have some before and after photos on. It's pretty amazing um, what we can do nowadays with a little one-hour procedure where we don't even have to knock people out in the office. We can give them results similar to what they could have gotten from plastic surgery in the past. That's why I'm so beautiful now. <laughs> you're looking good. <laughs> he actually I was going to mention it, yeah. that. You know, yeah. I know. I know. You're, you're, in fact, you're, Dr. Marcus right here yep, treated he him. He did it. Yep. He did. Mm -hmm. Very he treated me as well. Uh -huh. about, there's a yeah. line of people outside the door waiting to <laughs> see <laughs> you. Well, you. You know, one of the big things that it works on is uh, older people like myself, they have that sagging chin underneath. Yes. And it works extremely well on that. You know, mine's not nearly as bad as it was. So we're talking about all therapy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in, in fact, um, everyone might want to know we have... Uh, a special event on January 31st in the Salem office where we'll be uh, giving away some door prizes and offering some really deep discounts on it. So we're pretty excited about that. The company allows us to do these kind of things now and then and offers some uh, special you know, pricing on it since it is a little bit expensive, but it's much cheaper than getting a facelift or something like that. So yeah, and if they, anyone's interested in that, they're going to have to call the office and uh, reserve a spot. It's reservation only because we we did it about uh, six to eight weeks ago and we had such a response that uh, it, w it was pretty crowded in there. So we we're limiting the number of people that are going to be able to come to that. And we're, we're going to do a demo patient at that time, too. And the, the interesting thing, the last time we did one of these was we just treated half of the face. And then we had the person walk around and show people. And half of the face was pulled up tighter and the other half was sagging. And it was pretty amazing. Everyone was blown away. It's kind of nice to see that for yourself, to see and touch that. And, uh, and hear the person who was looking at themselves in the mirror, you know, just be wowed by how uh, quick that tightens and pulls up the face. And we did end up doing the other half of the face, too, so she didn't have to right. walk around right. like that. Um, yeah. Good point. <laughs> All therapy, has that been the most popular thing you've mentioned? You've, we've mentioned it several times since you've brought it into the office, and it seems like it's very, very uh, popular. Yeah, you know, what, what we try to do is we try to stay, um, you know, uh, apprised of all the new things in our field, not only from a medical treatment aspect, but, uh, you know, from a cosmetic aspect, too. And, and this has been probably the best thing that I've seen since I've been in practice because, you know, historically, you know, people would come in and they would complain about sagging eyelids or sagging skin. And the only thing we could do would be to send them down to the plastic surgeon and have them operated on. And it's expensive and most people don't want to get cut on and go through the recovery and then everyone's looking at them and they know that they had something done. Um, and the, the, the Joan Rivers syndrome. Yeah, they look kind of pulled back a little bit too tight. And the, the nice thing about this is it really does do the job. It really delivers. Um, we don't even have to really sell it. It, it, it sells itself, and it's all safe. It's uh, an hour and 15 minutes of treatment. Uh, we take before and after photos, and it's amazing what we can get with that treatment. The nice thing is that the energy penetrates deep into the skin. It doesn't even hurt the skin itself, so you walk out and you're not red and you're not really swollen or anything. But uh, what you'll usually get from your friends or coworkers is a question like, oh, did you lose weight? Did you do something different? Uh, because it does tighten that deep, deep layer in the skin. You know, and it's totally non-invasive. You know, you're not being stuck by needles or anything along Just like those lines. when you do an ultrasound of a baby, you know, you're not hurting the skin or the baby. When you do it, it allows us to see real deep, and then we get to zap the deep, deep tissue that's responsible. It's like a rubber band on the face and neck that sags as we age. Uh, and the exciting new thing about the all therapy is the FDA just approved it for the lower neck. So we know that it pulls and tightens the double chin, the jowls, the face, uh, the, the brows, but now it tightens that loose, kind of goosey uh, lower part of the neck, the crepiness that a lot of us get with aging, and there's really no surgical alternative to that. So, you know, you, you could get a facelift and get a tightening of the upper face and the upper neck, but, you know, for the lower neck, they're not going to cut you down to your, 
your uh, shoulders and pull that together and this thing actually tightens it up and um, and there's some nice before and after photos on our website to look at it's pretty amazing and again that's about an hour and 15 minutes put me on schedule I'm ready yeah, yeah. <laughs> well I was gonna mention the your your chin actually it looks better you oh, actually yeah. look no, it, younger it, than it when you were last time. and and the, the nice thing about it is you see results right away right after you do it but as you go down the road for the next three or four months, it gets even better. Yeah, which is, the, which the, is about where I'm at now. Yeah, the I'm, fun I'm thing probably is close to three months. Usually at about two to four months, we start seeing a pretty dramatic change. And I, I can feel it in my face. And then all the girls in the office that we, that we treated um, are just really uh, seeing, noticing, and, and looking a lot better. And their, their friends and family over the holidays made a lot of positive comments about it. So, Well, next, next time you guys come in here for Skin Talk next month, we're going to be running video once again. We're not running video today. But we just want to give you a warning that we're going to be start starting to shoot it again. We took a break for the holidays. We're doing some changes internally here. I'll comb my hair. And uh, there you go. You're looking good, though, Joe. Hey, uh, uh, I shaved my head uh, when my wife got sick, and now she's all better. So maybe I'll let it grow back. I don't know. But the chin's but, looking good. But, well, what I want to do is I might keep it shaved and get me the uh, state troop of reflective glasses and look like a real bad dude. There you go. Mm -hmm. Don't forget the, <laughs> the smoky bear hat. Yeah, now we're talking. We'll take a picture next time. <laughs> this is Skin Talk, KGAL. I'm Dave Adams. We're here with Dr. John Young, Dr. Brandon Marcus, and our very own Cajun Joe from Silver Falls Dermatology. We'll be back with Skin Talk here in just a moment. Stay with us. When you look out across the Willamette Valley, you'll see plenty of banking choices. Willamette Community Bank is here to give you an option that's pretty unique, like no other, in fact. Hi, this is Sue Kalina, Relationship Manager. Willamette Community Bank provides an alternative to large national and regional banks by offering customized financial services and local decision-making to benefit local people, local families, and local businesses. How many banks can say that? Willamette Community Bank, service like no other. Member FDIC equal housing lender. A hundred years ago, Woodrow Wilson became our 28th president. Henry Ford started the assembly line with the Ford Model T. The Mona Lisa was stolen and Charlie Chaplin began his film career. First class stamps were two cents while gas was eight cents a gallon. Adding to that list, the founder of Wilson Motors in Corvallis was born. That's right, Mr. Wilson is turning a hundred years old this month and still comes to work six days a week. That's a great reason to have a sale all month long at Wilson Motors celebrating his lifetime achievement. No chances to win a free car, no scratch off games to win, and no microwave sets. Just good old fashioned Sale prices on all vehicles marked down. No games and no surprises. All new Ford, Dodge, Chrysler, and Jeeps, and 130 used vehicles all on sale. Great prices and great selection. 100 years ago is when the famous Cracker Jacks box also began. So stop on by Wilson Motors in Corvallis and get a free box of Cracker Jacks to celebrate this landmark birthday. Who knows, you might even win a cool prize in your Cracker Jacks. But for sure you'll get the gift of savings all month long. Happy 100th birthday, Mr. Wilson. Experience the Wilson way difference. Wilson Motors in Corvallis. Take the first step. You know you can go at least that far and quickly discover the next step is within your reach. And the next step, join the Y for free now through January 15th. It only takes one small change to make a difference. It takes 21 days to create a habit, so start today. No joining fee now through January 15th at the Mid-Valley YMCA, 3311 Pacific Boulevard, Southwest in Albany. Call now, 541-926-4488. 541-926-4488. Online at ymcaalbany.org. Landscapers, nursery farmers, and homeowners prefer Land Pride rotary tillers because they just plain work. Rugged and dependable, Land Pride tillers come in your choice of forward or reverse time models and are proudly made in America. You'll find Land Pride tillers at Lynn Benton Tractor on McLean Street in Silverton or Highway 99E in Tangent. And you'll find more details at LynnBentonTractor.com. Lynn Benton Tractor, we're still doing business the American way. More than 130,000 young people in Oregon live with a mental illness. Left untreated, the consequences can be staggering. But treatment works. With treatment, more than 70% have significantly reduced symptoms and experience a higher quality of life. You can help change a life with Trillium Family Services. For more information, visit TrilliumFamily.org. That's TrilliumFamily.org. Trillium Family Services, building brighter futures with children and families. Want to really know more? Just point, click, and learn from the Mid-Valley's best website, KGAL.com. 
Welcome back to Skin Talk. I'm Dave Adams. With us from Silver Falls Dermatology, Dr. John Young, Dr. Brandon Marcus, and the Cajun Joe is with us once again. Glad to have Cajun Joe back in the studio. During the break, we went to uh, the website, silverfallsderm.net. And uh, uh, there is, as you go to the front page, you're going to find towards the top, All Therapy Is Here. You click on that link, and you can see some rather fascinating before and after shots. There's also a, dev- a video of a K-Gal Valley talk we did, I think it was back in September. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But right above that, there's some very interesting before and after shots. If you want to go to uh, your website, silverfallsderm.net, do so when you get a minute. But uh, especially on the left-hand side, there's some rather remarkable differences, improvements that it's made in patients' uh, appearance. Yeah, you know, classically, when you wanted to get your face Im- improved, if you wanted to really get a radical, uh, dramatic change in the way your skin looked, you'd go and get, like, laser resurfacing or something like that. And that, that zaps the skin and causes you to get really red and, uh, and kind of a burn look for a couple weeks until it's healed. But it does give you a nice result. Well, the crazy thing about this is you don't have any redness in the skin, but you're going to get a dramatic result from it because we're, we're skipping the top of the skin and we're going below the skin and pulling up that deeper layer. So it's, it's, uh, most people know what laser is. They know that people that go in and get that look red, they look beat up. But the weird thing about this is, and it almost doesn't make sense to patients, is that you won't look like you've been, you know, operated on or had a procedure done. Some people get some bruising uh, along the jawline. You know, for instance, we uh, we shot my mother-in-law with the machine, who's looking great, by the way, and she did get some bruising under the jaw. But uh, she just recently went on a trip to Europe, and at the at the check-in counter, the TSA agent looked at her ID and he said, you know, I know this is you but something looks different um they they almost questioned whether or not it was her because her face had looked that dramatically different and then a a funny story also about her was she was with her younger sister 10 years younger with at dinner with someone and they wanted to know how much younger she was than the sister and the younger sister didn't like that oh that makes it um, worthwhile yeah yeah. (laughs) woman wow (laughs) so it's kind of funny when you hear stories like that it's, it's really uh it's really satisfying and nice and uh you know what what do we do that you can do that in an hour and, and make that kind of difference with so it's kind That'll of liven neat. up the family conversation yeah. on the dinner table i want to look good enough that they ask me for my id when i buy liquor but you know we have uh we have a lot of older people that come and see us um you know a lot of people 75 plus 80 plus and they always ask well you know is that something that that would work for me and and it can work. We, we like to look at them to see. But what we do notice on the older folks is they tend to have droopier eyelids and droopier eyebrows. You know, with aging, everything falls a bit. And we, have, we saw some really nice before and afters from some of our patients the other day who had it done around the eyes. And they were, you know, older, 75 plus, who had a dramatic eyelid lift and eyebrow lift so um, not only did it change their look but I think it was a kind of a functional thing it kept that sagging skin up and out of the eye by pulling it up and we we don't over promise with that but it certainly is nice when we when we can get that and uh, there's certainly some before and afters on uh, on our website there with that as you can see with the eyebrows being lifted and again that's all included in a treatment we just uh, zap and lift everything that that patients will let us yeah, how permanent is it? Is it uh, kind of like Botox where you got to come in every three or four months? Or? They, they say three to six years. And uh, what, what happens is basically you're going to tighten and pull uh, that rubber band called the fascia up. But then you're going to still age from there. So, you know, it, the way I look at it, we usually tell someone who's 65, well, if we make you look 60 now, in five years you'll look 65. But if we don't, in five years, you're going to look 70. So it kind of pulls that clock backward. But, you know, as long as you're living, breathing, and walking, you're going to still age. Um, so, But they don't even recommend a second treatment earlier than four months. Most people won't even need one. But some people get so excited initially, they want to do another one. But the, the results continue to improve over six months. So they really don't recommend getting another one too quickly. One of the things I was noticing on one of the before and afters of a gentleman here on the center, center kind of bottom right of the screen, it looks, it's increased his jawline and it makes it look like he's lost a considerable amount of weight, younger as well. 
Yeah, I mean, that's that's part of the, the benefit of it is it, it'll kind of pull that up and it, it helps define the jawline for men, which they like. It also helps decrease that crepiness and sagginess. And then in women, a lot of things that they like is in the cheeks. It really helps define those cheeks a lot more and uh, give them a lot better look. Um, I'm one of the physicians that actually does this procedure. I've done quite a few of them now. And the thing I really like about it is, you know, I've treated people from early to mid-30s all the way to upper 70s. And, you know, each patient population I've done, I've been impressed of how, how well it works. I mean, Now, are they getting results pretty much as they hop off the examining table or treatment table? Or yeah, so when we do hours? the procedure, we have them come in, we do before pictures. And then right after the procedure, you know, we'll do after pictures. And there is a noticeable difference after the procedure. You know, actually, while I'm doing the procedure, I draw lines on the face. It helps guide me as I'm doing the procedure to know which areas to treat and which have been treated. And I can actually, you know, as I'm doing it, see the lines move on the face. I mean, it, it's a slight movement, but, and, and I can tell a difference as I'm doing the procedure. And, you know, when I do one half the face to the other, you know, just stepping back and looking. I've done quite a few of these now. I can tell a noticeable difference. Now, I know you guys are very excited about this. This has got a, one of the things I believe that you're into dermatology for is to help people feel better about themselves, help their appearance, and to have that treatment where you can actually do something and it has immediate results where you can say, here's a mirror, here's the difference. It's got to make you feel good professionally and personally. Yeah, it's great. And, the, and the, the thing I really like about it is it's a more natural look. You're not going to go get that dramatic surgical facelift where your skin is pulled and stretched and it's uh, obviously noticeable that you've had a surgical procedure done. It's basically uh, using technology in a way that's helping your body to kind of combat uh, the aging that it's going through. Uh, like Dr. Young mentioned, we're, we're targeting that fashion, pulling that tight, but the great thing about it is it's all also causing new collagen growth. So we, d we have a new superficial probe now and I can actually treat around the mouth and a lot of those creases around the mouth that you know people get injected with, with fillers and whatnot, mm -hmm. I can treat those lines and cause collagen to grow there so the body can naturally fill that area. It actually causes better. collagen to grow? Yep, and that's why people get results, you know, three to six months down the road. You'll get the result after from the tightening of the fascia, but that injury to the fascia, the body's response to that is to cause new collagen to grow. And so that's why six months down the road to nine months down the road is the optimal improvement because not only you have do you have that tightening, but you also have that new collagen that's kind of filled in those areas and help tighten it even more. What is collagen? Is it a layer of skin? What exactly is it? It's a structural building block in the skin that causes it to to tight to be tight and to hold together. And um, and so when you when you tighten it, you know you can heat it and cause it to immediately tighten. But when you heat something underneath the skin. It's, it's like a little injury, like a mild injury, and so there's a healing response, and part of a healing response is to lay down new collagen, new structure to support and to, to heal that injury. So you could think of it as just a strengthener in the skin that's part of what makes our skin, you know, tough and firm and, uh, and have the structure it does and to be resi resistant to pressure and to just ripping open, you know, it's part of that structural component. Gives it a newer look and actually because in some respects there's new skin there, there's new collagen. And un it's underneath the skin which is cool so it's, uh, it's actually going to tighten that up and tightening tends to make people look younger not saggy is, uh, is you know, pulling the sagging up makes you look younger. We mentioned and a couple you, times. You know, one, of the, one of the good things about this procedure is that, um, like some of our procedures, when you uh, want to do ways, you have to go to the Salem office because of the size of the machines. But the, um, the old therapy, you can, we, we would do it in any of our offices, the Woodburn, Salem, Albany, or Carl Valens. Because the machine, can, you have one it, machine, you can it transport water, it between yeah. the offices. You know, there, there's a big thought in medicine and in, in life in general, this whole mind-body concept. And, and I know Dr. Marcus has a good background in, in this kind of thing. And, you know, when people look better, they often feel better, you know. So when it comes to rashes, if we can make them, the rash look better and it itch less, they feel better. Uh, we've had a couple women who've had divorces who just looked down and needed a pick-me-up. And it's been nice seeing them happy and looking better and feeling better. We had one uh, older woman who lost her husband who really wanted to do it as a pick-me-up and feel better about herself and she was just so happy and pleased seeing herself in the mirror every day looking a little bit better. So you know it's always nice when you can get that that full connection. You know it's more than 
more than just trying to uh, to look good at you know when you when you feel better about yourself it just makes life better in general whether it's a rash or skin tightening that's part of why you became a dermatologist right and the nice thing is you can see that and you get the feedback on that because you you see it yourself as opposed to treating something internally where they don't really feel any different uh, they don't they don't see that organ uh, that's the, the neat thing about what we do is we get to see that. We get to see the patient's response to that and how happy or, or unhappy they are and what we can do about it to improve it from there. One of the things I was mentioning here is about that guys have a tendency to get very jowly as they get older. They just get right here in the cheeks. They just get kind of like a dog, like mm -hmm. a jowl. And uh, this particular, I know this is radio and you have a hard time seeing it, at least today. Um... Now, the only thing worse than a guy with a jowl that bothers him, I'll tell you from experience, is a woman with a jowl that bothers her. Because we do have some that we treated with, with good jowls. And it, a lot of them have, you know, their mother has the jowl. And I'll tell you, those are some happy ladies when we pull that up. It really does make a, a dramatic response. It really makes you look older when you have that jowling hanging on the side of the chin with that cheek you know, sliding down. Okay, we need to take a break right now. This is Skin Talk, Dr. John Young, Dr. Brandon Marcus, and Cajun Joe in our studios. Back with more of the show in just a moment. The Osgood File. This is Charles Osgood. In Utah, there's a corral for breaking in wild horses called the Hard Time Corral. Doesn't sound like much of a dude ranch, does it? Breaking a wild horse is not an easy job. Oh, son. But at this ranch, it's the best job. Our CBS News colleague John Bentley can tell you why they call it that. That's because at the Hard Time Corral, the horses are tamed by prison inmates. The relationship is a symbiotic one, helping one another to change their previous way of life. The ranch is built next to Utah's maximum security prison in Gunnison. We'll go there after this. Jay Farner here from Quicken Loans. We get a lot of tweets from folks that sound just like this. Jay, I bought my home in 2007. Since then, it's gone down in value. Now I owe more on my mortgage than my home is worth. Can I refinance? The answer may very well be yes. Recently, the government announced changes that may allow folks to refinance even if their home has lost value. For example, if you owe $300,000 on your mortgage, but your home's only worth $150,000, Quicken Loans may still be able to help you. Or if your current mortgage rate is higher than 3.99%, you've got to give us a call today at 800-QUICKEN. And for three years in a row now, J.D. Power & Associates has ranked Quicken Loans highest in the nation in customer satisfaction for primary mortgage origination. So if your current mortgage is higher than 3.99% or if you owe more than your home is worth, call Quicken Loans today at 800-QUICKEN or go to quickenloans.com. For J.D. Power & Associates award information, visit jdpower.com. Important terms and conditions apply. Calls for cost information. Equal housing lender. License in all 50 states. And MLS number 3030. You might wonder why convicted criminals should be permitted to spend their days riding horses. Why, John Bentley? Well, two reasons. First of all, the staff here says it helps those prisoners once they get out. And second of all, it saves taxpayers across the country more than $4 million. How so? The savings come from the nearly free labor provided by the inmates. They do everything at the ranch, from building the corrals to breaking the horses. The inmates build all this stuff. Gus War heads up the program for the Bureau of Land Management. I've got dozens and dozens of letters that are really, that are heartfelt letters that are telling me that this program has saved my son. The prisoners can identify with the horses. Andy Anderson is serving a four-year sentence for stealing painkillers. When I come out here, I was still craving, wanting pills. I don't want that anymore. I want to, I want to get back on a horse once I get out of here. Whoa. Good boy. Cody Turner has been in and out of prison for more than 10 years. But he says working with horses has changed him. I'm hoping that I have another chance in life, and I, I believe he'll have another chance with me. The Hard Time Corral has been doing this with convicts for seven years now, says Bentley. <laughs> giving them and their horses a shot at a new life. The Osgood File. Charles Osgood on the CBS Radio Network. Weight Watchers invite you to One Amazing Day, the grand opening of two brand new stores this Saturday. The new Albany store is at 2250 14th Avenue Southeast next to Quiznos from 11 to 3. And the new Salem store is at 4450 Commercial Southeast Suite 120 from 1 to 4 next to Trader Joe's. Weight Watchers grand opening will have fun prizes, information on the newest 360 program, member success stories, fashion show, tips on fitness and more. Call Weight Watchers now, 1-800-651-6000 for more information or local meeting times. It's a crab feed! 
The Greater Albany Rotary Club presents for your enjoyment and as a fundraiser for the club's local and international service projects, the annual Crab Fest. Saturday, February 2nd from noon to 8. Get a generous portion of fresh Dungeness crab with bread and side dishes and enjoy live musical entertainment. You'll be automatically entered in the drawings for some great prizes. Pre-sale tickets are $40 and are available from Greater Albany Rotarians, Albany Chamber of Commerce, the KGAL Casio Main Studios in Lebanon, and Calapuya Brew Company in Albany. The annual Crab Fest, Saturday, February 2nd from noon to 8. Support your community and enjoy the fun and feasting at the annual Rotary Crab Fest, Saturday, February 2nd from noon to 8 at the atrium at Calapuya Brewing Company, Hill and Water in Albany. It's a crab feed! Health Talk with Dr. Bob Martin, Sunday mornings on News Talk 1580, KGAL. And Skin Talk, I'm Dave Adams, and we are here with Dr. John Young, Dr. Brandon Marcus, Cajun Joe. Glad to have you with us on the show today. We've got a few more minutes left to go, and we want to talk about a special event coming up where we're going to showcase all therapy and even have a patient demo. So, Dr. Marcus, you want to tell us about that a bit? You bet, yeah. So, coming up here on January 31st, we're going to have another event. Uh, we had one a few months ago, about six weeks ago, and it was so successful. Uh, you know, we had a lot of attendance. It actually sold out that we're going to hold another one of those January 31st. And so the best way to, uh, you know, sign up for that is to call our office, and Cajun Joe can go ahead and repeat those numbers for sure. us. Sure. Locally, it's 541-967-8385, or you can call, call the toll-free number at 866-599-DERM. And we are located in Woodburn, Salem, Albany, and Corvallis. And if you want to find out a little more about us, you can go on the Internet and go to www.silverfallsderm.net. And we're looking at that website today, and you can see some very interesting and very dramatic uh, before and after shots of just exactly what all therapy does. Which Even some patient videos and other information. So it's, uh, it's the newest thing out there. People are going to see it more and more on Oprah and all those other shows. It's been out there in the national media. And it's uh, not only doing what we're saying it's doing, but there are other things uh, that are coming out with it. There's some medical treatment indications coming out for sweating, problems it treats that and also treats hanging arms and knees and other things even a, a lower abdomen like a people who've had babies who have a little hanging skin there it can tighten that up too so there are a lot of uses for this basically if it's loose we can tighten it okay then, the nice part about this event as well is like you mentioned we're gonna have a live patient demonstration so people can see hands-on what the old therapy does uh, the other thing is, is you know, if, if it's just for people who want to know more about this procedure, you know, it's it's no no pressure, fun atmosphere, and we're going to offer uh, special pricing that day. So this is something that you are considering to do in the winter before the summer starts. This would be a great opportunity to come and learn more and and you know perhaps sign up and get a great discount. We're going to take our final break here, and then when we come back, we're going to talk about winter skin checks here in just a little bit. Skin talk with the good folks from Silver Falls Dermatology here on KGAL. More in a moment. The Start Fresh and Save event is on at the Home Depot now through February 3rd. You'll find top brands like Home Decorators Collection and Husky. Pick up some 66-quart Sterilite storage totes with latch handles. The see-through design lets you remember what you stored. And at the new lower price of $8.97, the savings are easy to see, too. So come in. Start Fresh and Save. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. While supplies last, U.S. only. See store for details. Start off the new year for just a buck at Rena Center. Now through February 2nd, everything in the store is just a dollar a day. Choose your favorite brand name appliances, laptops, tablets, computers, flat screen TVs and furniture and pay just a dollar a day until February 2nd. There's never been a better time to try the brands and products you want most during the dollar a day sale at Rena Center. One dollar for each day through February 2nd, 2013 must be paid in advance. Regular rates apply thereafter. Offer good on new agreements only. See store for full details. Going out to lunch at a nice restaurant can be expensive, and the big portions put you more in the mood for a nap than a productive afternoon. Mama's Fine Italian to the Rescue. The small appetite senior menu is just right. Anyone and everyone is invited to order from the Light Appetites menu for lunch from 11 to 4 p.m. with tasty entrees beginning at only $3.95. Why go hungry or go anywhere else for lunch? Eat healthy, eat light at Mama's. 
closed Sunday and Monday, so make the most of Tuesday through Friday and join your friends at Mama's for lunch. Dinner only on Saturday. Mama's features charbroiled steaks every day. Make reservations for dinner or pick up a bottle of fine wine. Seating is limited, so please call for reservations. 541-451-5050. That's 451-5050. Mama's Fine Italian and Wine Shop. On West Oak, between Main and 2nd in Lebanon. Across from the big blue Napa Auto Parts building. It's Truck Month at Mark Thomas Motors in Albany. 0% financing for 36 months on 2012 trucks. Ram is the only pickup manufacturer to achieve 20 MPG Highway Plus across its entire light-duty engine lineup. You'll love the Ram 1500 Hemi V8 in regular quad and crew cabs with three bed sizes. Get behind the wheel of a Ram truck. Hard charging power, easy-going gas mileage, an incredibly smooth ride, extra grip and pulling power. Lots of 2012 trucks to choose from now at Mark Thomas Motors in Albany. You'll be proud. Mark Thomas Motors, bye! More. Panic is not a successful investment strategy, but unfortunately, it's often the response of investors when the markets catch them off guard. Hi, I'm Doug Phillips, your Edward Jones financial advisor here in Lebanon. Let's work together to prepare for the market's unpredictable ups and downs. We'll focus on a long-term, disciplined approach to investing instead of overreacting to the daily headlines. Stop by my office at 2600 South Main Road in Lebanon or call 541-451-4000 to make a face-to-face -face appointment. Edward Jones, Making Sense of Investing, member SIPC. Radio for the Mid-Valley's Horse Lovers, The Horse Show with Rick Lamb, Sunday mornings at 9 on Smart Talk 1580. And this is Ken Talk, Dr. John Young, Brandon Marcus, who's also a doctor, and Cajun Joe with us. And we got about three minutes left to go on the show. And um, Brandon, let's talk about uh, winter skin checks. Uh, okay. What do we need to look out for? Well, so right now we're kind of in this uh, dreary weather where, it, you know, it's dark outside and a lot of us are staying indoors. So before we get ready for this spring and summer coming up and more fun in the sun, it's a, it's a good idea to go in and get your skin checked uh, this time of the year and just get a thorough check to, uh, you know, a lot of people come in not knowing that they have anything or not seeing these spots, but we're pretty thorough. We've been doing this for many years and we'll often find a lot of uh, suspicious spots that come back to be cancer. And, you know, a lot of times, you know, we find these early so that we're able to just get them off and there's nothing to worry about. The problem is, is if you let these cancers grow and, and kind of fester, that they can become a problem later on. So it's really important to catch these early and, and get somebody that, you know, has experience with this to, to be able to find them. That's an important point to note because skin cancer, when you let it grow and spread, can be a very aggressive cancer, can it? Yeah. The other thing is we can get people treated and healed up so they don't have any sores or other problems for when they're out in the sun doing all the bad things they're going to do in the summer. What yeah, which are is one of the reasons why when uh, people do come into the clinic, uh, they don't like it, but we try and get them into a gown. And uh, the reason for it is, is so that the providers can check their whole body in places where they can't see and possibly, you know, prevent any future problems. And, it, it, you know, for people that are sensitive to having people look everywhere, between toes everywhere, abdomen, it's really important because you could still have some moles there that could cause you some trouble. And sometimes you just have to, this is one of the things you have to do, and it could save your life. That's right. And, you know, it's the classic story we hear. We, we see something, and, you know, we know what to look for, and we look under magnification at this spot, and it'll look concerning to us. And, and we hear people say, well, I've had this for years. You know, it hasn't really bothered me. And oftentimes, you know, we've had them come back as melanomas other, or other dangerous skin cancers. And, you know, if they would have just let it fester on, it could have got to a point where it would have been dangerous. And once something like that spreads, it can potentially be life-threatening. So. Silver Falls Dermatology, what's your phone number? One more time. Phone number is 541-967-8385 or toll-free, 866-599-DERM. And that's Cajun Joe with us again today. Dr. John Young, Dr. Brandon Marcus learned a lot today. Thank you for being with us. Looking forward to having you again next uh, month. Second Thursday of the month, we'll be running videos. So uh, check us out on the website after uh, Skin Talk, and you'll be able to see the show as well as hear it once again. Thank you for being with us. Tomorrow, it's from the sidelines, Radio Ray and Company, right here on KGAL. Make it a great day. the Mid-Valley for over 50 years. You're listening to News Talk 1580 KGAL, Lebanon, Albany, Corvallis.